This is Susan Bush for SGTV. It's been 10 years since Patricia Chidlaw has had a solo show in her hometown of Santa Barbara. But in February of 2016, that changes. Sullivan Goss is pleased to announce a solo exhibition of new paintings by Patricia Chidlaw, one of California's most renowned urban realists. One thing becomes clear in viewing this latest body of work. Patricia travels often, either by car or train, methods of transportation that give a view onto the passing scenery. But the scenery she chooses to put in her paintings is not your average landscape. Many of her paintings could be called urban landscapes, and yet, looking closely, the true definition of urbanity is missing from the scenes. Rather, we are looking at the fringes of urban life, or to be even more specific, the in-between areas of urban inhabitation and rural isolation. There is a certain quietness in every painting. The lack of noisy humans is one reason. If people are in the compositions, they are usually alone or engrossed in their own thoughts. There's no evidence of active wind or rain or noise from traffic. No tumbleweed scratching across the empty street. Even the image of a moving train is quiet in Patricia's paintings. No clacking on the rails, just a vision of a train floating through the scene on a whisper. This quietness is pleasing and invites contemplation. The glassy surface of a motel pool is a prime spot for taking a deep breath and submerging into meditation. And the open stretch of train track rounds up our scattered view and sets it in a true direction. Vintage signs mark places both recently inhabited and long vacated. Patricia uses American iconography and the power of words to create a narrative that is open to interpretation and placement in time. Is the scene setting the stage for what will happen? Or has something already happened and we missed it? Patricia's worlds are charming, a little mysterious, and waiting patiently for the story to be told. Patricia Chidla's Departures will be on view from February 4th through April 3rd, 2016.